Hello, everybody. It's uh, 1017 here on the 7th of November. This is uh, Robert from RJL518. Just want to say uh, good evening to everybody out there. Also want to say thank you to a lot of people that uh, watched my college football playoff uh, idea where um, I just kind of kind of made up a good plan, a good setup where I feel that every uh, college football team has a chance to win the national title, whether you're in the big the, the, the Power Five of the ACC, the Big Ten, the Big Twelve, and all that, all right, and um, and the Group of Five, the American Conference, and such. So I figured, you know what, how would this playoff have worked, okay, if we go, if we utilize Action PC Football as the system to utilize, okay, and uh, how would this work if we actually go ahead and play a playoff from each system, that from each uh, season, that Action PC Football utilizes. Now, Action PC Football has only released full seasons from 1999 and forward. There are a couple of seasons where they actually have the top 20. Believe it or not, that's actually good enough because most of the teams that are available in those seasons, I can actually play in a playoff. So, without further ado, this is an introduction, introductory video as we're going to do the, ninth, uh, ninth, the 1975 NCAA Division I College Football Playoff RJL 518 format. First off, we've got to find out who the teams are going to be. Well, in 1975, okay, the conferences, the landscape of college football was so much different. Oklahoma won the championship that year. They got the uh, AP poll, the coaches poll, all, themse all themselves. So let's take a look at the um, let's take a look at the conference standings from 1975. You can see that Maryland won the ACC. Oklahoma did win the Big Eight. It's actually conference co-champions with Nebraska, but Oklahoma did win the national title, so they automatically get the number one. Ohio State won the Big Ten. Harvard won the Ivy League. At this time, there was really no Division I and Division I-A at the time, okay? Division I-A Division I A and Division I-AA. I know it's called FBS now. I'm always going to call it Division I-A. I, I just I hate the word I hate FBS. I really do. Um, but Harvard's not in the game, so you don't have to worry about it. The Mid-American Conference was won by Miami, Ohio. They were actually ranked uh, on that top 25. They were ranked number 12. Uh, the Missouri Valley Conference was won by Tulsa, but they're not in the game. San Jose State won the Pacific Coast Athletic Association, not in the game. UCLA and California were conference co-champions, but UCLA actually had the better record. They're in the game. Alabama did win the SEC. They're in the game. The Southern Conference was won by Richmond. They're not. The Southland Conference was won by Arkansas State. They're not. Arkansas, Texas A&M, and Texas all won the Southwest Conference. So how do I choose the team to play. Well, if I'm going to, well, we'll get to them in a minute. Arizona State did win the WAC at that time. They were not in the Pac-12 yet. So Arizona State won the Western Athletic Conference. And the highest ranked, the team with the best independence record was Rutgers. But since Rutgers was not ranked, Penn State was. And they're ranked number 10. So, and then of course you look at the bowls and you had uh, Arkansas beat Georgia in the Cotton Bowl. Alabama beat Penn State. UCLA, Ohio State, I'm actually, remember, I actually did play a, a game between UCLA and Ohio State, if you saw that on my channel. I actually did that game, Ohio, the Rose Bowl, where, uh, Ohio, where UCLA actually beat Ohio State, but Ohio State won that game. And Oklahoma beat Michigan to get the national title. So all Ohio State had to do was beat UCLA. They would have won the national title that year, okay? But Oklahoma wound up doing it. And you can see the rest of the bowl games is there. So how do we decide? What are college football playoffs going to be? I'm glad you asked. And if you didn't ask, I'm going to tell you anyway. Welcome to the 1975 playoffs. This is how it. This is how we're going to do this, and we'll go back here because we got to take a look at the at the top 25, but not the final top 25. So you got to go to the rankings here, and the rankings you got to look at are here, not week 14, because these are when the, this is when the bowls were done. Week thirteen is the is got is the top twenty five I got to use because this would been this would have been the playoff rankings before the bowl game started. This is December first, so probably at this time Army Navy was already played. So now this is the AP poll, 
and I and I and I trust the Associated Press poll more than I trust the coaches poll. So we'll be using the AP poll for this. As you can see, Ohio State is number one, and they were a conference champion. Texas A&M was a. This is why Texas A&M gets my number two pick because Texas A&M is the highest. It was ranked highest in the Big Eight conference. Okay at that time. So Texas A&M gets the number two, not Texas, not tech, not Texas, and not Nebraska. Alabama won the SEC, number three. I'm sorry, Oklahoma. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, wrong look here. Wrong thing. Oklahoma, number three. Alabama, and you can see the rest of the line going down. So we have to go all the way here. Miami, Ohio, okay, was ranked number, was, was ranked actually higher than Maryland. So now we go back to here. So as you can see, the seedings for the 1975 playoffs is going to be Ohio State, Texas A&M, Oklahoma, Alabama, Arizona State, Penn State, UCLA, Miami, Ohio, and Maryland. Since there are only nine teams, and I figure the second round should be filled, the second round should have eight, should have four games. Okay, in this case, we're going to use a nine-team bracket. Now, the independents. The reason why Penn State, even though Rutgers had the higher had the better record, but Rutgers is not in this game, and also Rutgers was not ranked. Penn State was, so Penn State gets the, gets the call for the playoff. So in the first round, the first game is going to be Miami Ohio versus Maryland. Should actually be pretty interesting, although uh, and I will be playing the offenses of both teams um, when I play the game, and it's going to be the Tangerine Bowl. So the Tangerine Bowl will have. Uh, the Miami Ohio Redskins and the Maryland Terrapins. At that time, Miami Ohio was known as the Redskins, not the Red Hawks. In the second round, Ohio State, the top, the top seventeen, the top seven teams will get the bye. Ohio State will play the winner of Miami Ohio and Maryland. But look at the games we got for the for the rest of that round: Texas A and M versus UCLA. That should be fun. Oklahoma versus Penn State should be fun. Alabama versus Arizona State should be fun. So our 1975 playoffs will feature a total of eight games. And we have our first round, which will be Miami, Ohio versus Maryland. This is just a short introductory video just to tell you what I'm about to do. And so I hope you enjoy it as we do our college football playoff for the year 1975. This is going to be the first, and I'm probably going to move my way through the seasons until we catch up. Got a long way to go, don't we? Lots of football. I love college football, people. So this is what I, I really just love college football. College football is the best. Action PC football, in my opinion, is the best at regulating it. Although I'm not putting down Stratomatic, I'm not putting down second and ten. Um, I, I actually have a copy of second and ten football. I like it. But it but but the, the chalk but one thing I like about action is a moving chalkboard. Um, the one thing I like about the one thing I don't like about Stratomatic, to me, Stratomatic does not have as many results as I'd like, and also Stratomatic doesn't give you enough play calling flexibility, where action certainly does. So I'm going to give the call to action. As I said, people, just a short video. So I hope you want, if you want to, please stay tuned for it, and uh, we look to see you with the Tangerine Bowl for the 1975 college football playoff first round. Game one, Miami, Ohio versus Maryland. We'll see you then, people. Have a good night.